left it, they just roll out the red carpet for you, huh? Hey, haven't won anything yet. Tell you what, if I do come out on top, we'll have dinner to celebrate. I'll tell you what, if you win, or if you lose, we're having dinner anyway. And as far as I'm concerned, there's no possibility that you're going to Oh, there's lose. a distinct possibility. Not as far as I'm concerned. And I don't care what the voters say. There's always going to be a winner to me. <laughs> I guess with you on my side, I can't lose, can I, baby? Thank you. Now, if only... Uh, only what? Tell me something. I I can't I get the feeling that, that you wouldn't mind if your mother and I got back together. Are we off base? Is is that a possibility? Well, I didn't say that. I mean I mean it's always a possibility given the proper set of circumstances. Well, is it the right circumstances? Oh, I don't guess I don't know. Sometimes I What do you think of John Russell? Honestly? Honestly? I think he's a nice guy. But I think it's a classic mismatch, and I give it a couple of days. And for Mom's sake, I hope she keeps it strictly business. I like the way you think, pal. And who knows, maybe if your wishes come true, well... What is it? An omen, I hope. Speaking of a classic mismatch... I should know soon. You staying here? I am. I was lucky enough to find a room at this end. Yeah. You two remember Allison Perkins? Yes, indeed. Cassie, have you met? This is Cassie. This is Allison. She's the warden's daughter and a good friend of mine. Hi, Cassie. My, you have matured into a woman since I saw you last. And quite a lovely one at that, I might add. Well, God be with you. Enjoy your meals. Bye. Can't something be done about him roaming about at will? Not yet, unfortunately. Did you see the way that she was looking at him? I not a word about Paul Kendall anymore. Well, that's because we said we would concentrate on more pleasant things tonight. Besides which, with Herb and Jonathan both taking care of me, I feel much safer now. Yes, she has the perfect combination of brains and brawn at her disposal. <laughs> uh, listen, my lovely... Some of those returns may be coming in. I, uh, I think I'll call headquarters, Good, you know. That. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, baby. Yeah. You know, I, I, I need two kisses for this call. Well, here's for luck. Uh, you know, I think Dad is so jealous of John. Oh, he has no reason to be. You are attracted to him, you know. Yes, of course I am. But Jonathan and I have strictly a business relationship. Though sometimes, you know, I get the feeling that Jonathan is a bit jealous himself. Oh, I'm sure you love that. <laughs> Darling, I'd be the first one to admit that it's been a long time since I've been the belle of anybody's ball. Still, I just hope Dad doesn't get hurt in the bargain. Well, excuse me, can I get... Guess what? What? First returns are in them way ahead. Oh, no! <laughs> Look, they told me this. They told me to hurry down and there's a chance Pete might concede early. Oh, oh, forget about dinner. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we can celebrate later. Oh, wonderful. Pardon me. Excuse me. I'm just you know, thinking about Dorian Lord and her daughter and all the money they have and all the good deeds I could do with all those bucks. <laughs> but surely they wouldn't contribute to your cause. No, but... Uh, I'm going to have to track some wealthy people. Okay, everybody, everybody, this is it. This is it. The results from the 7th ED are in, and the tally is final. Pete O'Neill, 10,641 votes. Herb Callison, the newly elected district yeah. attorney for Lansdowne County, 14,652 votes won for Senate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. DA, did you ever, did you ever doubt it? Well, I, more than that, more than that. Okay. 
Superb. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Pete. Ran a hell of a campaign. Well, the results have been obvious since 3 o'clock. I just thought I'd come over and concede first. Well, I appreciate it. I, I know it isn't easy for you. Well, it's, uh, it's your party. I don't want to take up your time. I just want to wish you well. Uh, you got a rough time ahead of you. I just came back from Statesville. Stan Willard was found hanging there. I thought we were going upstairs. Well, we will, but what's the rush, huh? Well, if we want to get to know one another better. Allison, I can't deny that I feel a passion for you. It's a weakness I have as a man, but... You know, God's work must come first. Well, you said we'd do his work together, Mitch, and I will. I'll do anything you want. Anything at all. Well, I want you too, Allison, but to cleave now and become his one, that would affect my mission. And I think that we really need a chance to get to know our souls together first. I know your soul. You're the most magnificent man I've ever met. But I want more than your soul. No. I mean, not right now. Not while there's still poor souls out there who are in need of my comforting. Lawrence. Greetings, friend. God be with you. One thing I'm not is your friend. It's funny, though. I came here to talk to you about the death of a man who thought he was your friend. Stan Willard. 